surely one of the most remarkable animals that had ever existed, and certainly one of the most famous, is a dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus rex, an animal to spark the imagination for all of us. What kind of an animal was it? What did it look like? How did it live? Now, scientific research has answered such questions, and not just about T. rex, but the other species that lived alongside it. And the latest imaging technology enables us to bring them all to life. The southern shores of the great inland sea that splits North America. And the tracks of the land's top predator. A Tyrannosaurus rex taking a swim. This is an adult male with his young family. His offspring are now just old enough to follow him on a journey to one of the many offshore islands that fringe this coast. Tyrannosaurus rex often lose at least two-thirds of their original brood of 15 or so in the first year. Now, there are only four. But this is the one that has drawn him here. It's dead, and the Tyrannosaur has smelt its rotting body. T. rex has the most powerful jaws in nature and can bite with the force of over five tons. The young are keen for a taste. The young T. rex have been brought to an ideal training ground. And there's enough food here to satisfy both parent and young. One kind of animal thrives in such places and forms immense colonies. Flying reptiles. Pterosaurs. Here on the beaches of North Africa, there are seven different species of them. They come here to feed, to rest, and to raise their young. Tethy Draco are well adapted to spend time on the ground and not only make their nests here, but stay to protect their brood. But some types of pterosaurs are less well adapted to life on land. They have a slightly different nesting strategy. They make their nests where they will attract less attention from predators. Isolated cliffs like this are ideal. Some marine animals that spend all their lives fishing out at sea must occasionally visit the coast for a very particular purpose. In the waters off the drowned continent of Zealandia, 
a long journey is coming to an end. These are tyrannosaurs, a type of huge marine reptile nearly 30 feet long. This female is accompanied by her calf, about six months old. She has brought her young calf many miles, and they're not alone. Tyrannosaurs come here from across the South Pacific. In southern Europe, where the Atlantic meets the great Tethys Sea, coast of life reaches perhaps its greatest diversity. Rising sea level means that there are countless submerged islands covered with sponges, clams and corals. Beyond is a sheer drop-off and the deep sea, home to oceanic predators. This is Hoffman's mosasaur, the ocean's deadliest predator. Resting at the surface allows this sea-going, air-breathing lizard to fill his lungs and relax. A rival challenging for this territory. This reef is still his territory. All over the globe, the coast provides an ideal place for countless animals to mate, raise their young, and to feed. Back in the shallow waters of Zealandia, large groups of tuarangosaurs have come together. They propel themselves with all four fins and travel almost effortlessly to find the fish shoals that gather here in summer. But one female is not swimming with her usual grace. She and her two-year-old calf are lagging behind the rest of the group. She's moving rather laboriously. And that has not gone unnoticed. A deadly hunter, Kai Kai Filu. The apparently stricken female is a tempting target. For the calf, trying to distract the mosasaur is a dangerous game. But it's buying time. The mother and calf are not entirely alone.
These individuals may be related, and it's in all their interests to drive Kai Kaifilu away. In one of the richest habitats on Earth, the sea is around the coasts of our prehistoric planet.